This morning, the screed tipping off investigators before the El Paso attack is pulling back the curtain on the yeah. darkest corner of the internet and unveiling a digital breeding ground for domestic terrorism. This is where it happens now. Websites like 8chan and 4chan are allowing the sinister undertones of white nationalism to go mainstream. This is a place where white nationalists go to hang out, talk to each other, and even urge each other to commit crimes or even worse, to commit mass murder. Minutes before the carnage in El Paso, the suspect posted a PDF of his plans on 8chan. But that wasn't enough time for the FBI to react. Clearly, there was not enough time for law enforcement to, to be able to use that information to intercept this mass killer. It's not possible. NBC law enforcement expert Jim Cavanaugh says federal surveillance of Internet forums is restricted. Federal agents cannot go and monitor those boards just because there's hate speech. In that online posting detailing his plans before the El Paso massacre, the suspected shooter expressed his support for the shooter in New Zealand at a massacre earlier this year. That shooter targeting Muslims and killing over 50 people in Christchurch posted his own diatribe on the anonymous forum with a link to a live stream of the slayings on Facebook. A month later, a copycat posted his own speech on a similar site before shooting up a San Diego synagogue. At a Senate hearing last month, the director of the FBI saying the agency has made some 100 arrests related to domestic terrorism since October. A uh, majority of the... Um domestic terrorism uh, cases that we've investigated uh, are motivated by some version of what you might call white supremacist violence. Domestic terrorism is different from what the FBI calls homegrown violent extremism in the U.S., inspired by global jihadists. They all think that the race war is coming and they're a part of it. NBC and News I, I reporter Ben Collins says the racially motivated guy, terror taking root on the Internet is not far off from classic terror cells. It's Internet driven. It's not centralized. It's all people in different basements all throughout the world sort of coming together uh, to hate things. And we're going to continue to follow these developments related to 8chan's role in this in the coming days. But there seems to be a consistent role in these anonymous forums, Willie. Yeah, so we don't know much. We should point out about the Dayton shooter. We don't, we don't have the identity That's and we don't right. know a motive. But we are attributing now this document that was posted online, many say in 8chan, to the shooter in El Paso. How does the FBI approach this? How do you fight back against that? Well, they're looking into a parallel investigation right now. Uh, and so what you can do is basically follow the trail to the extent that you can. And as we've reported, it's very difficult to track that down. But the hope is being able to track enough information to act quickly enough to prevent this from happening in the future. But that is a very tall order. And we should say the shooter carried out his shooting after the post attributed to him just minutes after it was Correct. posted online. Law enforcement didn't have time to track that one. Joe Lincoln, thanks so much. We appreciate it.